drawing instructor, the general contractor, and is now an artist. So please welcome Nancy. Yes, I'm Nancy Schutt, and I paint dogs. Uh, I primarily paint custom portraits of dogs in personal environments, and uh, people pay me to do that. And this is uh, Chopper, and this is uh, this. Everything in this painting is meaningful to the client and to Chopper. That was his favorite rock on the windowsill there. Sometimes I put. Uh, sometimes I include the people with the animals. This is Robin with the uh, animal members of her family. And this is a personal environment as well. There is a red room, a grand piano, and a beautiful view out the window, and a striped chair in her environment. This is Bella and Peapod. Bella is a very large Bernice Mountain dog who is afraid of a cat. And, uh, so she's stuck here at the bottom of the steps while Peapod is lounging in the sun. I'm pretty unconcerned about Bella's predicament here. Um, this is Sweet Potato in her backyard in Michigan with her cat friend. So when I was invited to present here on the topic of kitsch, I, I thought, why me? I, I don't do kitsch. But did they not research me? I mean, there it is, biggest day on my Facebook page. I'm art. I never ever use the word kitsch in relation to what I'm doing. Um, but if you do a Google search for kitsch, you will, you will not be surprised at the next slide. Um, you will find it. And I don't know if I need to say much more about this painting. It's a wonderful painting. I think it actually is very securely in the category of kitsch because the dogs are doing human behavior. I mean, even cheating at cards. <laughs> this painting sold for $500,000 in 2005, just for your information. Uh, these uh, some more anthropomorphized dogs. Um, William Wagner takes really stunningly beautiful photographs of his wine winers, but I wonder if he crosses the line here when he dresses them up like humans. Um, I, I really do like the humor of dogs acting like humans, but I think they're really pretty funny just being dogs. <laughs> um, sometimes I make paintings just for my own amusement, and I post them on my Facebook page with a caption, the image contest, with prizes. And uh, I get some very clever captions. Um, <laughs> people are very, very clever. One of the captions I really liked for this particular painting was it was words, but the words were something like. <laughs> um, one thing that Kitsch seems to have is a cuteness, like uber cuteness. We have the pink bobblehead dog and Mr. Winkle. Mr. Winkle is a real dog, and Laura Jo Reagan is a real photojournalist who has uh, directed her career towards taking photographs of her dog, and she's um, making a fortune out of it. I do do cute. Um, this, uh, but this is a Yorkshire Terrier puppy, and it's hard to not do cute when that's your subject matter. Um, Laura Jo Winkle said something about cuteness. If someone dismisses otherwise serious art just because it's cute, that's simply prejudice at work like any other prejudice. Uh, Welsh corgis are pretty darn cute too. Um, however, I really do not appreciate that word being used in reference to my art, so <laughs> please uh, uh, expand your intellect and try to find other descriptive words when you're referring to art. So, if cute is blown up really huge into a sculpture, as Jeff Koons does, um, is it still art? Or is it so bad that it's good? This is a Jeff Koons sculpture a topiary puppy sitting in front of the Guggenheim in Bil Bilboa, Spain, and it doesn't get more reputable than that. Uh, these are two of my favorite artists, David Hockney and Andy Warhol. They, they both have doxies. Uh, David Hockney's Doxy Stanley and Boogie, and Andy Warhol had uh, two Doxies as well, uh, Amos and Archie, this is Archie, 
and I, I don't consider those lesser paintings. And of course, Picasso and his famous stocks and uh, lump. I really understand the uh, favoring of dachshunds by artists. They really make really wonderful subject matter. And I've done my share of dachshund paintings. Uh, these are wieners at home. <laughs> dachshunds are, they're like mobile design elements. That <laughs> wherever they place themselves in a the room, they become an arrangement. <laughs> so, uh, and something I often say about my work is that when I'm working on a painting, the dog is a design element, just like anything else in the painting. It's a particular shape of particular colors. And what I really concentrate on and spend most of my time doing is arranging shapes and colors. The actual portrait part of what I do is um, the easy part. Uh, yeah, I spent a lot more time on the background in this than on the dog. As simple as it is, that's what makes it really hard. Um, however, I was really pleased when the client came over and saw the portrait and said, there are black labs and there are black labs, but this is Jackson. <laughs> and I included this painting <laughs> because it's my commentary on uh, what I perceive to be a, a, a tendency to dismiss art as being uh, not serious art if there's a dog involved. So this is still life with Collie. Oh, and now I leave you with the exuberant joy of a golden retriever. And I do want to also leave you with this quote from uh, John Homan's What is Dog For? Loving the dog means, among other things, making peace with Kitch, if you haven't already. Much as I'd like to think that Kitch has no purchase in my world, it's found its way in and it's sleeping on my rug. <laughs>